welcome back to another episode of the Sarah Scoop Show. I am joined by Clayton James. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me. You have a very new and fun and exciting movie on Hallmark that is premiering on January 22nd. Can you give us a scoop on what the movie is all about? Yeah, it's a fantastic little movie um, with myself and uh, Amelia. Um, it's just basically my character uh, is a single dad who moves back into or moves to a town uh, into a new house with his daughter. Um, doesn't really know anybody and then happily meets the neighbor across the street. Um, and they start to find a little connection with each other, a little playful banter off the top. Um, as my character is a little bit, uh, not spastic, but he's very excited and, and, and very out there, um, but not very coordinated at the same time. And uh, what happens is he meets uh, Amelia's character and uh, they start sort of bonding between being neighbors and, and a new neighbors, but she's very hesitant, a little bit more uh, reserved than he is. And she finds this uh, time capsule that her, her mom has left for her, leading into these instructions uh, to help her get over some of her fears throughout life. And uh, she's very hesitant to, to do any of them. And my character kind of nudges her along and gets her to go out of her comfort zone and out of her, uh, you know, her, her regular life and to sort of take these uh, challenges on and to get over some of the fears that she has and the trials and tribulations between those two sort of happen throughout the movie uh with the challenges and you talked a little bit about your character's personality and some of the features what was it about the role of josh that first really interested you in wanting to play that role um he's very charismatic but doesn't mean to be which is kind of fun at the same time and he's got a lot of great energy the fact that he's a single dad, I thought was pretty cool. I was raised by a single mom. Um, so single parent life has always kind of interested me that somebody can just do it, you know, on their own, whether it's one child or, or, you know, more than that. I think it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of strength to be able to do it just by yourself. And uh, yeah, he's just a fun dad and, and he's he's kind of nerdy in his own way and, and outgoing. And he has some self discoveries with um, meeting Amelia's character as well. So. It's just sort of like a, an adventure for the two of them to kind of get out of their comfort zones and, and out of their shells and discover some stuff about themselves and each other uh, along the way. And going off of that, in the movie, both Taylor and Josh, they're very different characters, yet they both kind of have their own insecurities that they're working to overcome. So we get to see the characters really challenge themselves to see things differently. And that's a great message in the movie. What message do you hope that viewers will take when they are watching? I think you kind of just, you got to live life in the moment. And I think that if there's anything out there that you're interested in, or if there's anything out there that, that piques your curiosity, especially during the times that we're going through, is just go for it. And, you know, I want people to take away from the fact that don't let your fears override your life and don't let your insecurities take over you. Um, you know, we're a lot of pressure put on us nowadays in society to be something or to achieve something, but I think that we all get lost a little bit in that. And I think that if you can take something away from the movie is just, again, live in the moment and, and enjoy it. Um, it's, it's a short journey and it goes by fast. So branch out and face your fears and have fun. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a wonderful message. And the characters, we really do get to see them do that. So I think that's great. For sure. Hallmark fans, they're always excited to see some of their favorite actors working alongside of each other. And on screen, it looks like the cast really gets along great and everything. So what was it like working with the cast of this particular movie? To be honest with you, uh, Amelia is is such a powerhouse. And she has she was a new mom at the time. And she would be between takes, going to take care of her newborn, coming back, just on point, funny, so much energy. I was just amazed that her presence and her professionalism on set as just an actor and then also just being a new mom and being able to carry a scene and then running away and being able to take care of her, her newborn. Um, Daphne is a fantastic, wonderful young actor. She brought it every scene. You know, it was it was a lot of fun to work with her. Lots of great energy. Um, I feel like a child myself a lot of the time. So whenever I get to hang out with 
you know, kids on set, they just always bring this fun energy and it's, it's, it's raw and they don't overthink a lot of the times they kind of just act and they, and they, and they bring the truth to it. Um, you know, sometimes adults are a little bit more too much thought process and it can kind of hinder you sometimes. And then, so when you're working with a young actor who just kind of is there and is being themselves and, and really having a lot of fun, it creates a good, a good energy to be around. So, um, a lot of fun. Tegan, uh, and I actually go way back. We've known each other for 20 plus years. So that was fantastic to work with her. Um, she's fantastic to work with. And, and I've said that twice, sorry, but, uh, you know, she brings a lot of good energy to the scenes um, and the contradictory character to Amelia's. She, she did really well on. And then Christy, our director, who I've worked with before, she's fantastic as well. Um, yeah, everybody, it was, it was just a really fun, fun film to work with work on and uh there's some good scenes in there where we get to work with goats and have some fun with goats so that was uh that was a good experience as well what were some of your favorite either on screen that we saw or off screen moments when you were filming people always love hearing like if there's something funny that happened that we don't get to see or maybe just something when you were filming one of the scenes yeah i mean I always try and be a bit of a clown on set. I always try and keep the entertainment levels up, which I'm sure can be daunting at times. Um, I am myself like a child. <laughs> so uh, making jokes and just keeping everybody happy. Lots of funny little moments. One of my favorite moments was um, when we were filming the goat yoga, looking over and the goat is on top of Amelia's back and it's just, just sort of starting to eat her hair. And we're rolling and she's trying so hard to keep it together. And I'm just basically keep like just under the seams, just starting to break a little bit. And the dude just starts pulling on her hair even more and more. And then the goats are jumping on other people's backs. And some people were okay with it. It's not that they were fearful, but it kind of took you by surprise if you're trying to stay in a moment and uh, act. And then all of a sudden these little goats are running around and jumping on people's backs. One of them or a couple of them went to the bathroom <laughs> during the takes. So um, that was pretty funny. And then this suspension bridge, that uh, we end up going through. I'm pretty sure that Amelia wasn't even acting in regards to her fear of heights. So that brought a lot of fun energy as well. Um, just because that I was really having to pull her and get her across um, because it is a quite, it's quite high up and suspension bridges definitely don't feel as sturdiest. They sway a little bit and then you walk on them and they, they, they do bounce. Um, so there is a little bit of sense of fear and even I had a little bit of that, but being from Vancouver, I've definitely walked that bridge a few a few times, so I was a little bit more used to it. Now when people are watching, they're going to be looking for that bridge. They're going to be looking for the goats, seeing if they yeah. can catch anything. <laughs> yeah, I hope the goats, I really hope the goats made it in the final cut. I have yet to see the movie, um, so I'm hoping that the goats are in there. So this is just one of many Hallmark movies that you have been in and shows, and you've really built quite a fan base with the Hallmark community. What is it about Hallmark movies or shows that you enjoy most about being part of them? Honestly, the camaraderie amongst the actors um, is fantastic. The crew is always fantastic. They're such feel-good stories. So they're not, it's not a lot of, I mean, it takes a lot out of you. It's a short shoot. There's a lot of prep work to be done. There's a lot of dialogue per day, but at the same time, it's 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 a lot of great energy. And I think that that kind of carries through the the film. It's it's, it's sweet, endearing. Um, usually has a good positive message throughout it. And the Hallmark fans are just some of the best fans and support team around. Um, I have a few friends that I've made through social media who are big Hallmark fans and enthusiasts and just the joy that they seem to get through the films and meeting uh, some of the actors or even just interacting with them. And I know a lot of the Hallmark uh, main cast are um, really good at, 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 you know, talking to people and connecting with their fan base and they have Christmas con and all these fantastic events, um, which is, it, it's pretty cool. Um, I think that a lot of people get to relate to the, the cast uh, sorry, the actors uh, in Hallmark a lot more than they would say with some of the bigger productions or some of the more mainstream stuff. And it's just, it has, has a really high viewership. Um, a friend of mine, Kevin McGarry, just had his movie airing and I think they broke Hallmark records for the viewership and that's fantastic. And I think that Hallmark has just really grown to be such a wholesome, fantastic production company that's making these wonderful, easy to watch 
films that you can watch with your family. You can watch with your, you know, your grandparents, you can watch with your partner, your spouse, your kids, every, like it's, it's, it's a really easy, good, wholesome uh, f- films to watch. Clayton, thank you so much. You have given us such good insight and scoop on the movie. So let's end things off with why do you think people should tune in on January 22nd to watch Don't Forget I Love You? I think that everybody should tune in to watch Don't Forget I Love You because it's a wholesome, wonderful film about two people that meet and they start helping each other uh, get past some of their insecurities and their fears and they connect with each other. It's also beautifully shot. Um, I love filming in Vancouver because the backdrop for the scenes in so many ways just pop. You know, the, the the suspension bridge scene is a wonderful shot. Um, the goat yoga has always been fun. And um, I just think that the message of the film is going to connect to a lot of people to enjoy life and face your fears and, and try and live more in the moment. And, you know, don't let those insecurities or those, those fears hold you back and, and really just you know, enjoy your life, (laughs) keep a positive attitude. And I think that film, the Hallmark films right now, especially with the pandemic and all the things changing in the world, are really keeping people's spirits up and giving people positive messages to look forward to. Thank you so much, Clayton. And this was wonderful. And I can't wait for everyone to watch the new movie. Yeah, I'm stoked. Look forward to hearing what people think for sure. Thank you for watching the Sarah Scoop Show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.